Now I am going to show you the example for eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the matrix A is equals to 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 2, minus 2, 1, minus 1, 2. So, this is one of the important questions for 16 mark. Definitely, they will ask eigenvalues and eigenvectors for 16 mark question. Now, solution. We need to go step by step. So, to find the eigenvalues, first thing we need to find the characteristic equation. How will you find the characteristic equation? By using the formula to find eigenvalues. Find the characteristic equation. The formula to find the characteristic equation is To find the characteristic equation is lambda cube minus S1 lambda square minus S2 lambda minus S3 is equals to 0. As I explained it before, what is S1? Sum of the diagonal elements of the given matrix. What is the sum of the diagonal elements? The diagonal elements are 2, 2, 2. So, 2 plus 2 plus 2 which will give you 6. And S2. What is S2? Sum of the minors of the diagonal elements. This is the diagonal element. What is the first diagonal element? 2. You will take the 2. You will leave the corresponding row and column. So, what is left out? 2 minus 2 minus 1 2 plus go for the next diagonal element this is over next diagonal element you will leave the corresponding row on the column so what is left out 2 minus 1 1 2 plus the last diagonal element is 2 for this again you will leave the corresponding row on the column you will get it as 0, 2, 0, 2. Now, simplify this. You will get it. Cross multiply it. 4 minus 2 which will give you 2. Next one plus. Again, 4 minus into minus will become plus. So, 4 plus 1 will give you 5 plus 4. Which will give you 11. So, this is what the sum of the minors of the diagonal element. For each diagonal element, you need to find the minors. Finally, what is S3? S3 is equals to determinant of A. How will you find the determinant? First, you will take 2. 2 into 4 minus 2. You will cross multiply. Next one. 0. Anyway, it is going to be 0. That whole thing will become 0 only. So, minus 0, minus 1 into, you will leave the corresponding row and column. What is left out? 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2, which is equals to 4 minus 0 plus 2, which will give you 6. So, we have got S1, S2, S3. Using this, I am going to write the characteristic equation. What is the characteristic equation? By using the formula lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3. We need to substitute S1, S2, S3 value here. Therefore, lambda cube minus S1 is 6. 6 lambda square, S2 is 11 plus 11 lambda and then S3 is again 6 minus 6 equal to 0 is the characteristic equation. 
is the characteristic equation. After finding out the characteristic equation, we need to find the roots that is the eigenvalues. How will you find the eigenvalues? By solving the characteristic equation. How will you solve the characteristic equation? If it is a 2 by 2 matrix, if you are getting the equation in the form of lambda square plus lambda plus some constant, you will directly factorize it and get the roots. Whereas here you are getting it in lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 11 lambda minus 6. In this case, you can go only by synthetic division. How will you do synthetic division? You need to take the coefficient of each term. So, what is the coefficient of lambda cube here? 1. And then next one is minus 6. Next 11 and then the last term is minus 6. Now, how will you find the roots? You can take accordingly minus 1, minus 2 or 1, 2 or 3, 2 so on. Anything you can take to find the eigenvalues. Here you will be getting it in the root 2. Always you have to put 0 for the first element. So you will get it as 1 plus 0 which will give you 1. 1 into 2, 2 minus 6 plus 2 which will give you minus 4. Minus 4 into 2 which will give you minus 8 and this will give you 3. 3 into 2, 6, 0. So, till you get the remainder as 0, you will be keep on applying some roots here. You will be taking, if suppose, if you are not getting remainder as 0 for the particular root 2, then you will move on to the minus 2. If you are not getting even for minus 2, then you will move on to 3 or minus 3. So, this is how you have to do it. Now, for the root 2, you are getting the remainder as 0. Therefore, we say that lambda is equals to 2 is a root. Now, how many roots we need to get it? 3 roots. We have got only 1 root. Now, you will take this as the reduced equation. That is lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 3 is equals to 0. Now, no need to go by synthetic division. Directly, you can factorize it. This can be written as lambda minus 3 into lambda minus 1 which is equals to therefore lambda is equals to 1 comma 3. Now what are the eigenvalues we have got it? Lambda is equals to 2 and lambda is equals to 1 comma 3. So how many roots we have got? 1, 2 and 3. And what is the characteristic equation? Lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 11 lambda minus 6 equal to 0.